Hi, Hi Clay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. great. I'm great. I had so much fun watching Vacation Friends. Oh, good. Definitely, you know, the vacation that um, I needed. Yes. So thank you for that. Sure. Um, and at the press conference, uh, this was already kind of discussed in terms of the racial dynamics that, you know, one might have expected different stereotypes and was refreshingly not seeing them. But on a more personal note, what was it that made these actors right for those parts? Because they have so much chemistry that you could have just switched any of them to be any of them. Yes, I felt like, well, Rel, when I first met him, it was pretty remarkable because, you know, it was almost like we'd written a part for him already. Um, he's from Chicago. He's from a tough part of town. He's tough, uh, but he's also kind of a nerd in the tough neighborhood <laughs> and he would admit it. And he, uh, you know, he's not as, he's not as controlling and uptight as, as, and he doesn't, you know, he, he's, he's, he is different, but, but the main things about his energy really fit well with that, with that character. And it was that weird thing of like, man, I felt like I wrote this, I helped rewrite it, put it together for someone I hadn't even met yet. And here's the guy. And Yvonne, was sort of the same thing. She was just like this, she's so funny. She's so gifted as an actor and a comedic actor, but she also has this elegance and ease about her. And they had known each other for years and years and years. So they felt like a real couple. And John was just like, I had no idea how good he was and how gifted he was as a performer. Um, and so, and it, he just played a part that was so built for his body and his, his instrument. And, and so it was really fun to, uh, to work with him on it. And he was just, he's such a great listener and plays off people so much more than you would think. And, you know, Meredith Hagner, who I loved her work in uh, search party. And she mm. is just like, we really, really read a lot of actresses for that. And, uh, she just, you know, demanded her performance was so spot on. And she, she was like, I am that person. I would say that I would get in trouble on the, on a vacation if you came with me. And so, and, and, you know, in the end, it just felt like here are two couples that have known each other forever and they meet and it just, I was blessed. I mean, believe me, I was sitting there going, I don't know how I ended up this luckily. Cause that's, that's so, yeah. so much of it is just getting good people who are right for the parts. Definitely. And you did get great people. But oh, on yeah. the, you know, more directorial side of things, there are some sequences that are just fabulous in there. Like without okay. spoilers, just say like, you know, the fox, the fox chase, um, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> the bird, the, the, the yes. return of the bird. So like, what was the process behind uh, deciding how to show those? Well, um, they were a bit of a leap of faith because there's a lot of visual effects that won't come back in for months and months. And like anything in a movie, you know, you, you be, you're you shooting it with like Rel rolling around with a, a very small woman in a blue suit going, I hope this works. And you turn to the visual effects supervisor who's there is like, is this going to work? And he's like, yeah. And you're like, I hope so. Um, when we shot the, like the second bird sequence, um, you know, it's just, it, I remember thinking, wow, was this the worst idea ever to have? And, uh, but there's so many talented visual effects people working on the movie that um, by the end, it's, it was, I was so glad I took that chance. Yeah, you guys absolutely pulled it off. Um, I cannot wait for everyone to watch and thoroughly enjoy this movie. Thank you oh, good. so much. Sure, thank you. <laughs>